we'll talk about the seven layers of good life and what it means to have a good life. Of course, everybody's good life, mine, yours, is different. We all have our own versions of good life, but this is a good way to look at an overall picture of what good life is, even though individually the activities that make up the good life might be different. Our human life is very precious and it's important to use it to provide for ourselves and those we love a good life. So what are these seven layers of good life? Some of these layers have been talked about by the Greek philosophers, Plato, Aristotle, Thoreau has talked about the good life, John Muir has talked about the good life, and of course in India, good life has been talked about as well as in all ancient cultures. All cultures talk about good life. But is good life simply just having a lot of fun and comfort or is there something else? So let's discuss these seven layers of good life. The first layer of good life is just having a physically fit, physically well body and having resources that provide us a good fit body, which means being able to eat healthy food, nutritious food, unpolluted food, having clean water, clean air, having a good environment, having the ability to exercise, having the ability to get enough rest to provide ourselves a physically fit body. So the first level of good life is just to have good physical fitness so we can go about doing things we want to do. If you don't have a physically fit body, of course that's a challenge. If you're obese, if you're anorexic, if you can't do certain things, so it's important to build up the physical structural strength, strength needed to have a good life. The second aspect of good life is to have a creative life. Have something that you can say, I did this, something, this thing and it was a creative endeavor. And it could be a small endeavor like gardening, just working in the, on the earth, planting something, a tomato, some beans, uh, harvesting them. That's also a creative endeavor. Cooking. Cooking can be creative. And of course, higher levels of different kind of creativity creating a new product, as engineers do, scientists do, uh, creating a great painting, as artists do, uh, creating a great poetry. Uh, anything can be creative and almost anybody, if they take a little time in their lives during the day, can be creative. So having creativity, creating something of beauty to you is an important part of good life. The third aspect of good life is having balance in your life, not just physical balance, but balance in your overall life. So you're not one dimensional. You have a personal wellness, you have social wellness, you have intellectual wellness, you have spiritual wellness. Uh, so you're balanced in life. So creating balance in life is an important part of good life. The next level is having love in your life. Being able to love others and letting others love you so love is a very important part of good life, having friends who love you, having people you care for, uh, your relatives, even strangers, even having love for strangers. So love, connection to others, emotional connection to others, sympathy is all part of, a very important part of good life. Then the next level is being able to express yourself. If you're not able to express yourself, your life is not really flourishing, it's not good. If you always feel suppressed, I can't say this, I can't say that, I have to accept whatever is there. So being able to express yourself freely without hurting others. Right? So if something is in your mind, in your heart, finding a way to express yourself through writing, through talking, uh, through your expression, your face, so on. So having an expressive life. Now the next level of good life is what the Greeks were, philosophers used to call an examine call an examined life. Examine yourself. Who am I? Having that understanding, what is my uniqueness? What is the special purpose? What is unique about myself? Am I nourishing my uniqueness? Having an examined life, which means developing your intellect, developing your boldness, courage to go against other people if needed. Uh, having all of that, so intellect, boldness, courage, is all needed to examine yourself. Being able to be quiet, so you can examine yourself, to be able to meditate, to examine yourself, all of that is part of good life as well. And finally, the last level, the highest level in some sense, is the spiritual level, where you feel connected to the universe. You feel, I'm part of this wonderful universe. 
Uh, I'm not just separated from everybody. I'm involved in this universe. I'm infinite. You see the stars, you feel part of the stars, you see the moon, you see the ocean, you see all the great beautiful things in life and you think that's part of my life and having that connection with the whole universe. So these are the seven levels of good life and of course these are seven levels that can be practiced by anybody. They do need resources. Some of these levels to fulfill some of these levels need some money, some need social wealth. So we talk about the levels of karma wealth, wealth that is needed to fulfill a good life. And so one can have your own physical initiative, some resources, material resources, money, social wealth, having connections in the society you live in, having spiritual wealth, having the ability to express yourself. So all of these are needed to have a good life. And the important thing is it simply does not require only lots of money. So it's not that if you're a millionaire, billionaire, you'll have a good life because some things could be missing. And it's neither that you have a minimal wage job and you cannot have good life. You can have good life. So physical wellness, creative wellness, balance in life, social wellness, connection to others, being able to express yourself, being able to understand yourself and having a connection to the whole universe. That's all part of having a good life.